Hey guys, you know, I got the Gambler Wrecking Ball here, and, and I know a lot of you guys have fished it. You know, it's a it's a swinging jig that, you know, works works really well for casting and reeling over some areas that you typically couldn't run a crankbait or something like that. Um, but there's two different baits that I like to throw on it. One of them is, is the new uh, Gambler Burner Craw. You know, it's got the, the legs on the back, really make a lot of action. When the fish are active, I really like to go with this one. When the fish are a little less active, but I still want to use the wrecking ball technique. I like to put the why not on the back of it. You know, there's, it's not quite as much action, but I'm still, I'm still getting the same basic presentation. And uh, I also like to throw it on the, the 7.6 uh, Titanium Series JT Kenny uh, Halo Rod. And I like to throw it on a 6.2 to 1 reel. And why I like to do that is because it tends to not let me overwind the bait. Because this is a bait that you need to keep you know, constant contact in the bottom with is really the, the key to make that thing dance around and swing around on the bottom. And I'm afraid if I go to a seven to one reel, I'm gonna overwind it and let the bait ride up off the bottom and then I'm not really using the technique the way it's meant to be used. So I stick with, this, with the six two to one reel, usually run 15 to 17 pound fluorocarbon with it. And uh, like I said, either the burner crawl or the why not, either one, I don't think you can go wrong.